is kind of a new traffic calming tool um, in our toolbox, so to speak. A Vancouver initiative that started during the pandemic to make it easier for people to move in their neighborhood is here to stay. The city's Slow Streets program is seeing orange plastic barriers replaced with permanent ones. These concrete barriers will lower maintenance costs as well as provide um, vehicle circulation for local access and as well they provide a gateway treatment so when someone's driving off of a busier um, faster street they know as they turn onto a local street to slow down and watch for people that are walking cycling and rolling. The city says it started installing the permanent barriers on Monday including here at Alder and 12. It says these concrete barriers will be put in at 42 locations over the next few weeks. It sends a message to drivers that there's a reason to slow down here and you know if they don't see the speed limit sign if they don't see the people walking inside cycling near the street, they maybe they see the fact that the lane's a little bit narrower, it's a good place to let up on the throttle and go a little bit slower. Lee says the program has been successful in getting people moving and providing safer spaces, but its implementation hasn't been. He says the plastic barriers were often moved by people and the permanent ones are long overdue. It's far cheaper for, for the taxpayer not to be out there moving them every day. And we know from the tests that happened during the pandemic that we actually did see reductions in vehicle speeds. So the routes that they're doing, this isn't on every route within the city. These are on routes that we have known problems with vehicles speeding. There is, I think, the need for this type of program as we've, you know, we transition from a city that was, I think, dominated by the automobile into something that, that deals with much more sustainable modes of transportation and really taking advantage of that shift and understanding that the excess capacity of streets for cars now actually create an opportunity for creating streets for people. The city says it will cost $200,000 to install the 42 permanent barriers along the 40 kilometers of slow streets and require the removal of two to three parking spots at each location. Glovich says staff will now monitor the program to see where it can be upgraded even further. When our neighborhood traffic management might work with a community that has some of these barriers in place, they might look at considering what are some opportunities to enhance, to upgrade as needed. We'd like to see it in more places, but you know, let, let's start with getting these ones made permanent and, and go from there. In Vancouver, Monica Gould, City News.